Hello there guys, how are you today? Welcome to Empathic Moon 777 and I am Durga Diana. This is a Twin Flame Journey Tarot and this is a very beautiful type of reading for the Twin Flame Collective specifically as um, Spirit looks at the Collective and then they give us some um, energies to help our extension to either help bring clarity or help to bring uh, healing so this could be I'm going to leave it open like it could be you are in separation or you guys could be in union this could be about your inner masculine inner feminine all right this could be about the the two of you physical beings as well it really you take this um, reading how it applies to your situation Overall, in our collective, these are the energies, the three main energies um, where we're getting some pointers on. And um, it's a beautiful reading. Um, and this is a timeless reading. So if you're seeing this reading in another now moment, it can apply to you. All right. So um, take the energies, how they apply, take it, how it resonates. And actually, this type of reading that you see here is a reading that I have on my website um this is called a um this is the twin flame reading that is on the website um if you're interested in a reading like this for your own personal uh connection or just for your own i have that reading available and i'll have that listed in the description box below and um, we'll get started on the reading okay so um we're gonna look at what the reading is about today and um it's about today we have the sun in river uh the sun energy is about we have a number one here this is a illumination and this is like being in a state of positive energy with the sun what's around you um this sun energy brings in luck it brings in um joy it brings in like a really positive energy like you feel warm you feel uh, like you're covered in this light and you feel blessed and there's a lot of positive um, thoughts and there's positive feelings and there's things that are growing and um, it's clarified by the justice in reverse. So really what Spirit wants to talk about today is this energy of imbalance or injustice um injustice in maybe that maybe there was some kind of bias or maybe there's some kind of judgment um maybe like whatever that imbalance represents or that injustice however you see the injustice connected to the sun shining all right so this is what's coming through today and uh, it's related to we have some really heavy energies here coming through the Ten of Swords and um, Master, all right? So here it's like there has, there's something that has occurred, right? Um, where you may feel that there has been some really painful ending um, related to your heart, all right? This heart here is caged up right now and it's about something that happened in the heart there's some kind of brutal painful ending that occurred in the heart center all right and um we have this number 15 here I, that is normally the devil's energy but here it says master so when we're talking about mastering it's about mastering the heart um like if if you have been hurt all right sometimes when we have been hurt we want to we have our a caged heart and that caged heart, what it does, it, it blocks love to come in. And so we have this Ten of Swords here, all right? So it may be that there is a, a blocked heart. There may be a caged heart. Because of this brutal ending, maybe something brutally ended, all right? Something very painful, maybe something very sudden that hurt you. It really, really stung. It really hurt you. It, it You are on the ground here. There is some kind of suffering here, all right? And it's connected to an injustice with the sun, some kind of positive energy here coming through, all right? So this is what they want to talk about. And the overall message of this reading for our collective, before I get further here, um, 
We have here, I care about you when I act like I don't. I'm hiding, uh, I'm hiding my true feelings because I feel vulnerable, all right? So this energy here where there's this block, where there's this pain, and where there's th where there's this injustice with this sun energy, that positive energy, seeing the light, feeling like you're blessed, all right? It's connected to um, the two of you, uh, either one or the other. Um, there is some kind of um, energy where the both of you may be hiding, all right? You guys may be, you guys are not being honest with each other. Uh, you guys are not able to be vulnerable with each other. Um, there is some kind of perhaps maybe an ego that's coming in, that's stopping you um, from truly being open with each other, all right? Um, so there's something there that's coming through. That's the situation. And then the overall message of the reading is uh, rejection, um, loss, and fragmented energy. So they're really wanting to emphasize in this reading this energy of rejection, loss, and fragmented energy. So if you are feeling like that, and you could you could tell with this Ten of Swords, you could tell with the Caged Heart, you could tell with the Injustice in Reverse, the Justice in Reverse, that there is um, something fragmented uh, within, within. It's happening with, within yourself. There could be fears of rejection or because of this loss, this Ten of Swords energy, it's leaving you fragmented, all right? And um, that energy there, when you're in that energy, like you cannot really uh, see the sun, right? The sun is there, but because of these energies here, it's, it's a low vibe that is blocking the sun's energy coming through. So... Um, they're wanting to really wanting to emphasize this energy of the six of pentacles, all right, with this rejection, um, fragmented energy and loss. The six of pentacles here, like you see how in this picture here, we have the two people turning their backs towards each other and they're like, um, they love each other, but they're, you know, they're having, they're butting heads with each other and they're not really get they're not getting along. All right. Uh, there may be some type of blaming perhaps as well. And, uh, you know, they're kind of fed up, right? So the six of pentacles is the, uh, is the opposite of that energy. The six of pentacles is really about giving and receiving. All right. We see some hands here. This person is giving, right? There's balance scales. All right, there is some kind of energy of reciprocity here. There is some kind of energy of giving and giving from a place of balance. Um, this balance, uh, there's a person here, they're balancing two pentacles, all right? This could involve uh, two different things, all right? Each pentacle represents something. This person is trying to balance two different pentacles, all right? So there is an element of, of pentacles, there is an element of balancing, and those pentacles can represent different things in, in the life that this person is carrying, all right? So there's something there, whatever that pentacle represents, to balance that, all right? We also see hands here, they're obtaining some kind of pentacles as well. This also may involve other people, or this could involve you and your twin flame, this could involve about how to give, uh, what is balance giving and receiving, all right? Something like that, and it's balance where you feel good and the other person feels good. This also, with this uh, message here from Spirit, is Kundalini Rising, um, number 22, Ignite Your Passion for Life. So there's something here that is charging, like I feel... Um, it's, it's, it's kind of igniting you because it says ignite. So I like that word igniting you to, uh, follow your passion. All right. It's igniting you to manifest. I feel like what that is because we have that Kundalini rising. So you have this passion and this desire, right? 
this is what is being activated, I feel, through this kundalini rising energy. It happens in the sacral chakra. It's connected to your relationships. It's connected to your creativity. It's create it's um it's your passion. All right. There's uh sexual energy as there as well. And so with that energy, right, that orange center by your navel there. It's activating that. It's igniting your passion. So this experience here is really getting into getting you into the place like, yes, you know, this is what I desire. And it's igniting that. The kundalini energy is rising where you are going to start to ignite your passion. All right. So either this is a message to ignite your passion, what it is that you want to do, ignite what it, that is for yourself. All right. And whatever it is, there could be this energy here to start to work on manifest manifesting that. All right. So here is the situations here coming through related to this energy, very heavy energy coming through here today. Um, we have the uh, Archangel Raphael in reversed. That's the heart chakra. So that's connected here to this mastering of the heart here. There's a caged heart here. All right, this is the cage chart here. Archangel Raphael, heart chakra, fourth chakra. It's in reverse. There's something in the heart. There's something in the heart. There's pain. There's loss. There's um, maybe resentment. There's something in the heart. There's something blocked in the heart. Uh, look into the heart chakra. All right, what is going to bring a balanced heart? There's something affecting. There's some, some kind of block in the heart chakra. Look at this. We have this energy. It's causing burden. All right. There's a lot of heavy burdens here with this 10 of wands. There's a lot of, lot of stuff there. All right. There's, oh my goodness. Look at the heart chakra. There's something there. It's very, very burdensome. There's this 10 of swords. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of energy here that is needing to be released. And they're wanting in, in this energy of seeking. All right. That's going within going within through perhaps maybe doing meditation going out on the land depending where you are in the world here it's getting colder um but it says here to seek meditation opening yourself up going within and there's this energy of going in and out all right it could be going in and out uh with this going within or it could be that it's saying about passionately moving towards this seeking like go for it go go within go within because it's connected to karmic ties here this is a situation involving karmic ties it says here past lives are influencing our connection i've lost you in other lifetimes and that makes me afraid i need to heal the grief to allow the love to bloom okay so there is there is so many different layers, right? There's so many different layers because there's different lifetimes. And um, if you believe in past lives, right? And if you believe in twin flames, then you then you know that you've been together in different lifetimes, and then you know that you've gone through different experiences, um, hurtful experiences, and so a lot of these different things might be I I it it. it it either is a spirit is bringing this into focus right now. That could be a part of where this pain is going, uh, coming from related to the past lives, or it could be something that um, you're looking at right now. And this is the reason why this energy is in the heart, why there may be some blocks in the heart at this time. We have the 10 of wands and the 10 of swords. So there is a lot of very very hurtful energies burdensome energies and um i feel like all of this is about to collapse and something new is going to start now with those tens there um let's see here yes i need to heal the grief to allow love to bloom yes yes that is part of that uh, mastering that caged heart here. All right. So this is what's coming through, guys. What is the message from spirit? Um, 
So there is disharm. This may be manifesting as disharmony triggers and conflict with your current uh, connection at this time. And because of this disharmony triggers and conflict, there is going to be, um, it's causing some type of sadness here. All right. There's sadness. It's connected to the past. There's spilled cups. There's mourning. There's grief. There's loss. And uh, it's connected to the page of pentacles here, which is like making some type of offer. All right. Making some type of gesture, making some type of offer. All right. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what is happening? Like I'm going being pointed towards this. This is this conflict here. It's. um there is sadness, all right? Sadness from the past. There is hurt in relation to making some type of offer and making some type of gesture. In relation to these energies here, they're saying to create inner harmony. So with the seeking energy here, they're saying to go within and seek inner harmony. This is being emphasized right now to create inner harmony within yourself. All right, mindful wisdom create inner harmony. This is also having to do with um, when you go within, you're going to get some answers. You're going to get guidance. All right, you're going to learn more about this pain. You're going to learn more about uh, why is there a blocked heart? All right, why is there the blocked chakra? And it, it could be, it's, it's going to be connected to people, perhaps. It's going to be connected to past lives, all right? They're saying to create within yourself with these energies to create a state of inner harmony uh, within yourself at this time. And that's going to help to activate this energy where you feel more stable and you feel more at peace in your life. Now, another thing that I'm getting here with this message is forgiveness. All right. So I had talked about that forgiveness energy before. Uh, I made a post about it on Instagram uh, about um, forgiving uh, everybody, you know, and everything. And I did it for myself just very recently where I have forgiven. I've forgiven my twin flame. I've forgiven everybody that was involved, all the third parties, um, Everything that happened in the past lives, all right, I had forgiven. I've forgiven each person in all the past lives and even in this now moment. I've forgiven everybody. I send just loving energy to each and every one of them. And I wished everybody, you know, well. And you know what? It makes a change, all right? And I encourage that. I really do. I really, really encourage that because it's going to help to free things, it's going to make space. And you know what, you're going to feel better. All right. And not only that, your connections around you, it's going to get stronger, it's going to get better. All right. So I have to say that because that was, um, they were nudging me to talk about that story. All right. So I just wanted to mention that. And then the second one that's coming through is uh, the goddess of the moon, and then we have the four of wands, okay? So there is this um, returning energy. There is this coming together, returning uh, union or reunion um, with strong foundations, all right? And that energy is connected to the goddess of the moon. So the goddess of the moon could be the divine feminine, all right? All right, but it it could also be um, an energy about following the intuition. It could be an energy where you are flowing with your emotions, all right? You're in tune with your emotions and you are really operating using your intuition and your heart center to navigate through things that might be kind of dark, all right? So there is this energy here related to a reunion through this goddess of the moon energy, navigating through the dark using your intuition. And it's connected by working on self with the eight of pentacles and success and growth. So 
what I feel here, it's like you individually working on self to master self, to master your intuition, uh, to have some type of success and growth in connection to a reunion or having a, 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 a like a reunion or an energy of union uh, with you and then with your person, like with your twin flame. And the situation here is because of you, I'm starting to see what is really important in life. So it really has to do with this understanding about your mission. We have a number nine there. It's about maybe something starting to complete. It's really about the mission. It's really about understanding what this twin flame connection does and how it's going to help you to evolve to achieve some type of success and growth but not only that to be able to trust yourself to be able to trust that you're being guided to be able to trust in the universe to be able to follow your intuition and to be in your power and not only that to be in this energy of love and this unconditional love with self and also with your twin flame and then also with the people that are around you all right, so it it really it's really a very um, beautiful connection. Yes, there is a lot of challenges here, but through this self uh, working through self, it does get uh, there is success. All right, so the message here from spirit is compassion. All right, nurturing and compassion is the key here. This could be about you. This could be about your twin flame. This is being gentle. This is uh, forgiveness. This is love. This is um, taking care. Taking care of the mind, body, and spirit complex. Offering that compassion. And look at what we have here. King of Wands. Go for it. Take that action and leadership with that King of Wands energy. All right? This could be the masculine. This is a masculine energy. All right, take that, um, take your passion, follow through with this nurturing and compassion. That's what's being advised through this reading at this time. Take that action and leadership, follow through from beginning and to end. Don't give up. Always follow through with this nurturing and compassion. It's related to the seven of swords in reverse. That is an energy of uh, feeling like um, you are smaller than the people around you, all right? There's an energy here of imposter syndrome. So you're feeling, there, it's an energy where you feel like you're smaller than the other, than the people that are around you. There may be some type of paranoia, paranoia. there may be some type of fear, and it stops you from really shining, all right, so really take action and leadership with this nurturing and this compassion where you may feel like you are the smaller person amongst the rest. And that is not true, right? We are all um, a human collective here and we're here to, we, we are all equal. We are all uh, love and we are all light. And so Spirit's message here with the collective is to open our intuition. And I love that. To deepen um, ourselves and, and our intuition here. When we connect with our intuition, we feel stable. We feel connected. We feel um, protected. We feel um, like we can flow. We are flowing and so it says here to open um, uh, your intuition to seek clarification. So what I'm getting here is that anywhere where something just feels a little bit off within yourself to tap into your intuition, you do that through different ways, maybe going out for a walk, maybe doing an exercise, even when you're driving, when you're meditating, um, really open yourself up and to see you know what is the what is the truth there all right opening yourself up to seek that clarification we have 28 and 29 mindful wisdom create inner harmony and going within and getting clarification from your intuition 
tapping into that intuition, I tell you, it's, it's just, how do I say it? It's just, it really helps. It really, really helps. It just, everything that seems like a disturbance, when you tap into your intuition, you know, it's not, it's not even the case. All right. So I just wanted to mention that part there. The third one here we have is financial constraints. All right. So what's coming through is some kind of perhaps maybe money matters, but also what this is as well is some kind of lackful energy. All right. And it could be manifesting like as not having enough money in your life. So when or there's some kind of block in money all right there's something blocked all right or this could be actual like uh money issues or maybe there was some kind of loss all right there is this energy of the seven of wands in reverse uh, seven of wands there is this energy of maybe feeling guarded all right there is a guard perhaps or feeling like a I need to protect uh, relating this, relating to this financial uh, constraints. And there's an energy here about rebuilding. So this is the tower energy, um, you know, things uh, falling apart and rebuilding through this empress energy, which is the divine feminine energy, which is that nurturing energy, which is that intuitive and uh, really uh, a fertility, a, a birthing energy, a mothering energy, um, very intuitive energy, very loving, grounded, head and heart centered. That energy, uh, what is most important about this Empress energy is that it is receptive energy as well. It's not a doing energy. It's a feminine energy that is receptive and it, she creates and she knows with her intuition and she is a ball of light she's a ball of love and she is in that receptive energy so that energy that nurtures that cares it's related to this rebuilding and this guard with financial constraints it's connected to the ne the next solstice or equinox uh, will bring an important ship for us. So I really feel, and I really love how Spirit is talking about this right now, It's there is going to be some significant uh, equinoxes coming for the winter. Not only that, we have the 1111 portal. There's a, the 11 there. There, you can shift, all right? You can shift that through these equinoxes, through the equinox energies coming through in the winter here, um, here in the Northern Hemisphere, and also with the 1111 of portal. Now, I want to say with the 11 of 11 portal, last, uh, last one that, last one that came, absolutely total paradigm shift for me. And I really want to encourage that. I don't want, you know, follow your intuition, but I really want to encourage that these equinox energies can really, really help. And this the portal energy really, really helped. And uh, I just wanted to mention that. So if there is some kind of money blocks, you know, you could shift that through these energies here. It says next solstice or equinox will bring an important shift for us. It says draw another card to get an idea what this shift may be. Let's do that. I didn't see that part. Angels, helpers, and spirit, what will be this uh, shift with this next solstice and equinox? Angels, helpers, and spirit under financial constraints and rebuild. Oh, there it is. The planets are activating us to heal and bringing us closer together. Surrender to the changes. Okay, so there's something here that it's... Yes. 
So there's healing here and there's this energy about coming together. There's timing and intentions here. Um, bringing closer together and surrendering to the changes. So it's about changes with your connection. It's about healing and it's about coming closer together. So that's what these energies are being, um, they're being uh, pointed towards. And um, I feel like there's a connection there with this financial constraints because with that financial constraints, it may be connected to um, coming together. Like there's something there. I don't know if you um, uh, can see what I'm talking about when, when the financial constraints and this coming together. There's a connection there, I feel. Alrighty. So that's what I wanted to mention there. Thank you, Angels, Helpers, and Spirit. And then the third one. Um, ooh, I love this. Look at this. Transcendence. All right, unity. Oh, I love it. This is so beautiful. I love this. Okay, so it's to transcend. All right, transcend the blocks, transcend the financial constraints, transcend um, the um, the past. You know what I mean? Like just uh, freeing yourself from that and um, transcending that to have unity. And I really love that. We have the sun card here. This is the, the, the positive energy, the light and the growth and progress. Oh my gosh. All right. So for the sun to come in, for the sun to come in, for the progress of the sun to come in, that is part of that um, unity and transcending those different obstacles are coming through because it says here, Balance will be um, restored. Soul fragments, 33. So the pieces of this fragmented energy that came through here, right? This lost fragmented energy, you know, not getting along, um, you know, feeling like those types of beliefs, perhaps even. Um, they're saying here that the balance will be um, restored the soul fragments you know these are coming out and through this energy of the equinox um you will transcend and there will be a shift all right and there will be um a new a new energy of unity and to surrender to those changes so i really love that message that's coming through let me know if this reading resonates by liking, commenting, sharing, or subscribing to the channel. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. All right, take care and all the best.